This is a quick video on how to set up your internet router to use VPN. For this video, I am using ExpressVPN and a TP-Link router, however, you can do the same with any other router that is capable of supporting VPN. This video is not sponsored by ExpressVPN. I simply like the speed that I get with ExpressVPN, and the large number of servers they have. Yes, it is a bit pricier compared to other providers but it is well worth it. You may be able to achieve the same with a free VPN, but I just find most of the free ones sketchy and super slow. Just keep in mind that if you are not paying for the product, you might be the product. I personally prefer to set up VPN in my router rather than having to worry about installing it in each wireless device at home, and trying to remember to switch it on. You can always turn it on and off. So if you are convinced that ExpressVPN is the best route, you can use the link below to sign up. That is a referral link and it will give both of us an additional 30 days of free ExpressVPN. After subscribing to ExpressVPN, log into your account, go to Dashboard, click on Router and find your router in the drop-down menu. Next, click on Configure PPTP and L2TP. Note the username, the password and the server address. Now go to your PC or mobile device and open up a web browser. You will need to know the IP address of your router. The default IP address of your wireless router might be in the back of the router. If not, in Windows you can get it by opening the command prompt and type in IP config. For Ubuntu Linux, you can get it by entering the command IPR in your terminal. Now type in the router IP address in your web browser and log in. Go to Network. Copy and paste the username and password from your ExpressVPN. Leave the dynamic IP address checked. Copy and paste the server address. Leave the MTU as it is. You can select manual or auto for the connection mode. I prefer to leave it on manual. Lastly change your idle time to zero. Now all you have to do is click on save and connect. It may take up to 30 seconds for the connection to be established. You should be all set. If you like the content of this video and would like to see more tech tips and tutorials, like, subscribe and turn on notification.